I'm just going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Um, we're going to do a quick invocation from Mr. Sechrist. Is that right, Mr. Sechrist? Okay. If everyone will please stand, and then we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. Father, we just thank you for this evening, God. Lord, I thank you for, uh, for this day, Father. Lord, I thank you for um, everyone here tonight, God. I pray that, pray that you bless each and every one of us tonight, God. Lord, give us wisdom, God. Uh, give us clarity, God, and unify us, Father God, as we make decisions that will change the, the, the future of our city. God, I thank you for this opportunity. And Lord, it's in your precious and holy name I pray. Amen. Mr. Seacrest, if you will please uh, call roll. So, Councilor Baldwin. Here. 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 Palomar. Here. Wilbert. Here. Sims. Here. Jones. Here. Smith. Here. Nails. Here. Anders. Here. Hart. Here. President Watt. Here. Full All right. House. So we got a full house. Uh, this is a specially called meeting um, to handle the items uh, that we need to in order to hold the election that the mayor calls uh, on a special referendum for a change in the form of government that will be held on September 24, 2024. Uh, we discussed uh, these items at committee earlier tonight. Uh, so the item is 010824, request for consideration of September 24, 2024, special election resolutions and ordinances brought to us by Mayor McCluskey. Um, so I'm going to, these were discussed in committee, so I'll turn this over to Mr. Jones uh, for a report on uh, the resolutions and ordinance that we need to, resolutions yes, and yes, ordinance sir. that we need to do. Yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, uh, Finance Committee uh, did meet uh, at 5 o'clock uh, tonight uh, to go over these. Uh, there are four separate resolutions that have uh, been provided uh, by Mr. Kendrick and, and one ordinance. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you want to go through each one. Uh, yeah, let's just do them one at a time, if you don't mind. Okay, okay. Uh, and then if you can uh, hand me the, the sheet. So the first one is to establish the ballot, and Mr. Kendrick can uh, elaborate on any any additional. You have the copy that, uh, that you have. I didn't know I gave one to you. That you copy okay. Minutes. Don't worry I about it. it I, I have the, the general note. So uh, the first resolution was uh, uh, to... Is it, Mr. Kendrick, to establish yeah, the, the ballot? I've got that it's providing for the organization of the council manager form of government. Okay. Thank I'll, you. I'll be glad to yeah, speak if you would like to. Please. Sure. Yeah, my, someone took my, my, my page. The first resolution is a resolution provide for the organization of the council manager form of government. Should said form of government be approved as provided by the council manager act? It, as we all know, uh, Judge Naftal on July 29th certified that the petitions that had been presented by uh, citizens had been uh, were sufficient to call the election, which the mayor, under the laws, required up to that point to by proclamation to call a special election, which he did on September, to be held on September 24th, 2024. This resolution specifies the composition of the council and really the ballot language, and it says the ballot language shall. The council manager form of government as provided by the Council Manager Act of 1982 be adopted for the city of Homewood consisting of five members as follows. One member shall be the mayor elected at large and shall be a voting member of the council. And four members shall be council members elected from single member districts or wards. And the, the, the electorate will vote yes or no by marking and the spaces provided. The, this resolution is required in order to simply allow the ballots to be printed, which Mr. Sechrist has contacted to be contracted for, but until the adoption of this ordinance, setting out the specific composition of the, of the city council, then we couldn't, we can't print the ballots. So this is required by section 11, the 43A, 1-1.1. President, uh, the the first vote for that resolution was three to zero. All right, so we have a motion from finance. Any questions or comments? Not all in favor. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 
That was approved 11 to 0 and will be resolution 2489. All right, the next one on my list is an ordinance to call and provide for a special municipal election to be held in the city of Homewood, Alabama on Tuesday, September 24, 2024, and to provide for notice of the same. Uh, Mr. Kendrick, you want to give us an explanation yeah, so this of this one? Yes, this uh, repeats the same language about the ballot language, but it also provides for the voting places, who may vote. It provides for election machines that we contract with from Jefferson County. It provides for all the uh, sections that are required to appoint of election officials. All the provisions that are required for any municipal election are set out in this ordinance for the election to be held Tuesday, September 24, 2024. All right. Um, and that was four to zero coming out of finance for that um, <coughs> ordinance. Okay. It's uh, an ordinance, so it should require unanimous consent. The your, your description may have been the first reading, but if not, can you give us whatever's sure. required? Yes, sir. It's an ordinance to call and provide for a special municipal election to be held in the city of Homewood on Tuesday, September 24th, and to provide for notice of the same. Be ordained by the city council as follows. Section 1 provides that pursuant to 1143A1 of the Code of Alabama, a special election is hereby held to be held in the city of Homewood on, sep on Tuesday, September 24th for the purpose of submitting the the qualified voters of the city requested the adoption of the city manager form of government for the city pursuant to the official ballot language identified below, which is the language which I just quoted. Section 2 provides that the following uh, voting places will be the voting centers for the election Ward 1, Homewood Rec Center, Ward 2, Senior Citizen Center, Ward 3, the uh, element Edgewood Elementary, Section Ward 4, Homewood Public Library, Ward 5, Shades Cava School will be the polling places at which the polling places will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Daylight Savings Time. Section 3, the mayor by his proclamation is called the special election is published it is required by law. The election is required to be called not less than 40 and not more than 90 days for the certification received from Judge Naftal, which was dated July the 29th, 2024. <coughs> Section 4 says that all qualified Registered, registered and qualified electors of the state who reside within the corporate limits of the city for at least 30 days prior to the election are qualified to vote in this election. Section 5, the mayor shall call to be printed the necessary ballots and provide for the necessary polling list and supplies for holding the election, all as required by the Code of Alabama. Section 6 says the, the special election shall be substantially as follows. The official ballot special elections shall the council manager form of government as provided by the council manager act of 1982 be adopted for the city of Homewood, consisting of five members as follows. One member shall be the mayor, elected at large, who shall be a voting member of the council, <coughs> and four members of the council members elected from single member district wards. Sex, section seven says that not less than 15 days prior to the special election that we shall po uh, appoint poll officials at each of the polling places, which will be composed of an inspector, a registered registration list clerk, a poll list clerk, a ballot clerk for each ward, and a first and second alternate for each voting machine. We have two machines at each election, which we've had for the last 50 years, as far as I know. <coughs> Excuse me. Section 8, the mayor shall publish the list of the qualified election officials once appointed by the city council, and we shall hold an administrative class to educate them on the, vote of the polling, use of the polling equipment. Section nine, that the mayor call, shall call a, shall cause to be made a qualified list of the voters who are eligible to vote in that list and shall distribute the same to each of the polling places as required by section 17, 11, 15 of the Code of Alabama. Section 10, that a school of instruction shall be held for those who will actually conduct the, election, the special election and, we, and those officials once appointed by the council will be provided notice by the city. Section 11, that the city council shall constitute a board of canvassers Canvas the returns of the special election, which should be held at 12 p.m. noon on Central Daylight Saving Times at Homewood City Hall on October the 1st, 2024, at which time they shall canvass the return and declare the results of the special election. Section 12, the records of the results of the special election, once they're ascertained, will be declared by the City Council and will appear in the minutes of the uh, City Council meeting and will be filed in the probate court. Section 13, that the mayor's the city clerk are authorized and directed to pay and call to be paid the general, from the general fund and fees and expenses related to the election. Section 14, the special election shall be held in all respects as directed and required by and in conformity with the laws of the state of Alabama 
applicable to municipal elections. All right. Thank you very much. Any questions or comments? If not, I'd entertain I have, a motion. I yeah. have just one question. Sure. Just to clarify. In this case, qualified, qualified voters are just registered voters. Correct. Okay. Uh, anybody? Anybody no. can vote. Yep. Right. Anybody that's a, is qualified, there's a registered voter in Homewood can vote. So, unlike the petition. Correct. Very yep. good. I'll Thank make you. a motion for unanimous consent. Second. All right. So, we have a motion from Mr. Gwaltney, a second from Ms. Smith, and a roll call vote, please, Mr. Seacrest. Councilor Gwaltney? Yes, sir. Gear? Yes. Alamon? Yes. Wolverton? Yes. Sims? Yes. Jones? Yes. Smith? Yes. Nelms? Yes. Andrus? Yes. Harden? Yes. President White? Yes. All right, so that is 11 to 0, and we have a motion from finance for approval. Uh, so if there are not any other questions or comments, then we'll get another roll call vote, please, Mr. Seacrest. Yes, sir. Councilor Gwaltney? Yes, sir. Gear? Yes. Alamon? Yes. Wolverton? Yes. Sims? Yes. Jones? Yes. Smith? Yes. Nelms? Yes. Andrews? Yes. Harden? Yes. President White? Yes. All right, so that's approved 11 to 0 and will be ordinance 2906. Next we have a uh, resolution to contract with the city, with Jefferson County for voting machines and equipment. Uh, Mr. Kendrick, this was pretty self-explanatory. Yes, yeah, so there's a contract attached that Mr. Secrets has obtained from Jefferson County that provides for the cost of the election equipment that we were we have since released from the Jefferson County for all municipal elections. All right, and Mr. Jones, uh, report from finance. Yes, sir, that uh, four to zero uh, recommendation from finance. All right, so we have a motion from finance. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That is approved 11 to zero and be resolution 2490. Next, we have a resolution for election equipment to be included in cover letter to the Secretary of State. Uh, Mr. Kendrick, you want yes, to explain this one? This resolution is required by the Code of Alabama in 17721. Requires once we've identified the, the voting account, voting accounting system that we're going to use, that we have to notify that system to the uh, Secretary of State. And this resolution is authorized the filing of that by the mayor uh, with a cover letter for me and the rest of the Secretary of State's office. All right, Mr. Jones, a report on this one. Yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, finance. Committee met, met and voted four to zero for approval of this item. All right, so we got another motion from finance. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That's approved 11 to zero as well. And be resolution 2491. All right, last one uh, resolution to appoint the absentee election manager. Yes. This is a resolution authorized by 1711 and 14 and provides for the compensation of municipal absentee election manager for each day the absentee manager services are performed. From the date of delivery of the absentee ballots to the to the election manager, and the, including the day of the election, uh, the city desires to compensate the election election manager for the upcoming election. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the city council that the compensation to the election manager for the city of Homewood shall be uh, the same and fixed as the sum of fifty dollars per day for each day of the special election services are performed from the date of delivery of the absentee ballots to the date of the special election. The resolution is adopted pursuant to section 1711.14 of the Code of Alabama for the special election to be held on September 24, 2024. That code section provides that the election manager has to be paid at least $15, $50 per day. So based on the recommendation <coughs> of the Finance Committee, the sum is set at $50 per day for the election manager service. All right. Mr. Jones? And that was a four to zero recommendation from Finance. <coughs> And uh, for fifty dollars a day, fifty dollars a day for yeah. and for Mr. Seacrest to be the <laughs> election manager. Election manager. For perhaps a That's right. All right. Uh, we have another motion for finance. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And that is also eleven to zero, and will be resolution twenty four ninety two. All right. So uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, there will be more of these, and as well as information to come. Uh, but we needed to get these done in a timely manner to make sure we could meet the. Uh, time when the board of board of elections wanted us to, or could get us the uh, the machine. So thanks for everyone for doing this and in such a quick manner. So we will go ahead and adjourn and see everybody next week. <laughs>